everybody, it is time now for my college football picks for the week of October 24th, 2015. This is when myself, along with the almighty five cent piece, that's right, the coin, the nickel, whatever you want to call it, it picks as well. Both pick against the spread, the top games of college football this week, and all the Big 12 games. But before we do that, as we always do during this time of the show, let's review last week's picks. Whoa, Nilly, you better believe it. A documented 12 wins, three losses, and a tie against the spread. Hey, if I beat myself up for bad weeks, you bet I'm going to give it up to myself four weeks in which I would put Vegas to shame. That's right, nine games above 500. It was a spectacular week for yours truly. The five-cent piece didn't even get to 500, seven, eight, and one against the spread. So not only do I extend my overall lead, to seven games versus the coin, but I'm above 500 for the year. 42, 37, and six against the spread. By the way, the only game that was a tie was Florida LSU. They were favored by seven and one by seven. So in that case, that's a push. And the coin is at 35, 44, and six. But hey, no early celebrations, not breaking up the 50 cigar just yet. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Still plenty of games left to go. Still several weeks remaining as well. So let's get on with this week's games. Okay, 10 games to pick this week. Last week we picked 16. Obviously this week not as many games that I felt were marquee. And of course, we do include all the Big 12 except for the OU um, game that they're playing that week. More on that later. Let's go ahead and talk about the Friday game, though, that we will pick. That's Memphis at Tulsa. Hey, Dustin Fuente, the head coach of the Memphis Tigers, kind of a homecoming for him. He played college football at Oklahoma, but he plays high school football at Tulsa Union. So this is a bit of a homecoming for Fuente, and I think this is an extra special game for him. Easy thing to think is that Memphis will have a letdown after that game last week when they beat Ole Miss. Of course, Memphis is undefeated um, and in the top 20. I think they keep the momentum going, and I think Kevin Lucas, the receiver from Tulsa, is out in this game. So that's going to hurt the Golden Hurricane a little bit. It'll be a high-scoring game, but Memphis, I think that they'll win it on the road. Despite the fact there might be a little bit of wet weather, I still think Memphis will be the ones that will leave Tulsa out to dry. Give me the Tigers, minus 10 and a half. If the coin lands on heads, it likes the favorite. Tails, it's going to go with the underdog. And the coin, it's going to go with Tulsa. Now for Saturday, Big 12. For my Texas Tech at Oklahoma pick, make sure on this very webpage to watch the weekly matchup show. I'll have my preview and my prediction on that particular video. Let's move on. Kansas at Oklahoma State. Wow. Five touchdowns. That's what Oklahoma State is favored to beat Kansas by. Kansas, uh, they did play well against Tech. Lost, but played well. That was at home. This one's on the road. Oklahoma State's had two weeks to rest. And not that they need those extra you know, days to rest against Kansas. I think Oklahoma State, 35 points. They're not favored by near enough. Give me the Cowboys at home, undefeated, minus the 35 and the coin is going to take Kansas. Kansas State at Texas could be a very wet game from Austin. 11 a.m. kickoff, 80% chance of thunderstorms. You know the central part of that state is one of the parts impacted by that hurricane southwest of Mexico making its way up coast. So it is going to really take a, a major effort by both teams to get a win because you're battling each other and the elements as well. I think Texas will have a little bit more success in this game. They may not cover, but I do think the Longhorns uh, will find a way to win. 7-0, too many points in a game that could be as weather impacted as this one is. So I'll take Kansas State plus the 7. And let's give it a good flip here. The coin, there we go, It is going to go with Texas. Iowa State at Baylor. Same thing, weather, and this one's going to be a factor from Waco, 70% chance of rain, a little bit further up than Austin in terms of geography, a little bit further up north. So maybe, you know, still going to have rain, maybe not as bad, but still rain, a little bit of a neutralizer on this one. Baylor will win comfortably, but by 37, I think that's too many points. Give me Iowa State plus the 37, and the coin it is going to go uh, with Baylor. So far, the coin and I have disagreed on each of the first four matchups. Let's go out of the Big 12. Let's go now to the Big 10. Prime time once again for Ohio State. They're playing at Rutgers. Buckeyes favored by 21 and played darn well in the second half against a Penn State team that has a good defense. I think Ohio State's getting sick and tired of people saying they don't deserve to be number one. Hey, they're defending national champions. They're undefeated. 
Might be making a quarterback change this week as well. It might be on the road, but look for Ohio State to look like the Ohio State that represents number one. Ohio State minus 21, and the coin's going to go with Rutgers. And you have Michigan State, the Spartans. Yes, a game that maybe some think that they shouldn't have won, but hey, special teams are a part of football, and the Spartans cashed in on that particular play in which Michigan's punter couldn't handle the ball, and the Spartans ran it back on the final play to pull out an improbable win. Michigan State at home, minus 16 and a half. Indiana's not bad, 4-3, and three, but have yet to win a conference game. And playing on the road for Indiana, it's a much, much different story. Give me the Spartans, minus 16 and a half, and the coin is going to go with Indiana. Moving on to the ACC, Clemson at Miami, 11 a.m. kickoff. If this thing were at night, might be a little more electric atmosphere. They're playing it um, late morning, early afternoon, I guess you could say. A, a noon kickoff from Clore Gables, 11 a.m. Oklahoma time. Clemson, hey, they've answered every challenge this season so far. It might be a road game, but Clemson's having the better season. Um, give me the Tigers uh, minus the seven, and the coin is going to go with Miami. The disagreements continue. Now you have SEC. A&M at Ole Miss, 30% chance of rain uh, from Oxford in this one. Uh, the Rebels and the Aggies uh, coming off head-scratching losses. Um, I look for A&M, though, uh, getting the points in this one. Yeah, you lost to Alabama by a convincing margin, but, hey, Alabama's pretty darn good. Ole Miss hasn't quite looked the same since September with a couple of losses. It might be at home, but I think A&M puts up a good fight. So give me A&M plus the five points, and the coin is going to go uh, with Ole Miss. Wow. Haven't agreed once. The coin not having. Tennessee at Alabama. Minus 15 points. Vegas knows something in this situation. I say that because Bama has one loss in there at home. I think it's because Tennessee's not that bad of a team when it comes to stopping the run. And plus, the trend is that when Bama plays well, the next week they don't play quite as good. So I'm going to say Tennessee keeps it respectable. Tennessee plus the 15 points at Bama. And by the way, the uh, coin is going to go with Tennessee. Wow, we agree. And... Finally, let's take a look at Utah at USC. The Utes, they're undefeated. The Utes are a national championship contender. USC has already lost three games and fired their head coach. Yet USC's favored to win. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Doesn't make sense to me. Vegas must know a little bit about this game to put the Trojans at a three-and-a-half point favorite. I don't care. Utah right now looks like the better team, and the Utes beat them last year. So give me Utah plus the three-and-a-half, and the coin is going to go with Utah as well. Those are my picks for this week. What were yours? A reminder, my post game probably late Saturday, could be early Sunday, uh, between Texas Tech and Oklahoma. Make sure to check that out. Make sure to check out my picks for next week out. We'll be back probably the same part of the week next week for the Halloween edition of College Football Picks. So long, everybody.